right, so here we have a question about <clears throat> um, the volume of a rectangular prism. Um, and in particular, we're being asked to find the height. Um, so to find the height, we need a variable that relates height uh, and volume. Um, and we also have information about the length and the width of this prism. Um, and that's going to be all we need to solve this. So the formula for the volume of a prism is, well, I'll just write it out. It's length times width times height. And that, that should make sense, right? So if we have a length of 3 fourths and a width of 1 half, then we get a, uh, like a rectangle of an area that's length times width. And then when we multiply that by height, we're kind of filling in the prism um, with a bunch of rectangles that are the size of the length times the width. And then multiplying that by the height fills in the volume of our prism. And so let's fill in some numbers here that we know. So we know that the volume is 21 over 32. This equals the length, which is 3 fourths times the height, or uh, times the width, excuse me, which is 1 half times the height. And we don't know the height just yet. Um, and this is going to give us the solution for our height. We have only one variable, so we can solve for it. So we're going to multiply each side by the reciprocals of these. So we're going to multiply the left side by 4 thirds and by 2, which is the same as 2 over 1. So we've multiplied the left-hand side. And now we're going to multiply the right-hand side. So this is going to equal, well, 3 fourths times 4 thirds cancels out to 1. And 1 half times 2 cancels out to 1, which is why we multiplied each side by, um, by, well, here, I'll write it down. Here what we did. So we multiplied by 4 thirds to both sides, and we multiplied by 2 to both sides. And now we're just left with h. And so now we need to solve. Um, so if you don't have a calculator, let's just solve this by hand. So we have... 4 times 2. So to multiply fractions, you know, you just multiply it across numerators, and then you multiply across denominators. So we have 4 times 2 times 21. Well, uh, 4 times 21 is 84, right? And then 84 times 2 should be 168. So we have that h is equal to, on top, 168. And on bottom, 32 times 3 is 96. Now, this is almost our answer. This would give us the right answer, but it's asking us uh, for the answer as a mixed number in simplest form, which means that we can't have this, uh, what's called an improper fraction, where the numerator is larger than the denominator. So we need to know how many times the denominator goes into the numerator. Well, we can do that by taking 168 and dividing it by 96. Um, that will tell us how many times it goes in. Um, but I'll tell you right now that 96 can't fit into this number more than once. So we're going to be left with 1 plus some fraction. So how much are we, are we left over with? Well, we're going to take 168 minus, and we're going to take however many times 96 goes into that, which is just 1. So minus 1 times 96, which is just 96. And this will leave us with an answer of 72. And so now that is how many, that's how much um, of 168 is left over after 96 has gone into it once. So now we know that H is equal to um, 96 over 96 plus 72 over 96, Right, and so if you add these top together, you would get uh, 168 over 96, which is exactly what we want. So our answer as a mixed fraction is 1 and 72 96 And now we just need to simplify this down a little bit more. Um, both of these numbers are divisible by 24. So our final answer is 1 and 3 quarters. And that is your final answer. Thank you.